Silent, autonomous, and deadly, China's underwater drones may soon patrol the seas near U.S. aircraft carriers, representing a new frontier in naval warfare. These unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVS, are designed to operate deep beneath the surface, often undetectable by traditional sonar systems, giving them the potential to strike or gather intelligence without warning. As nations develop more sophisticated autonomous technology, these drones could significantly alter the dynamics of maritime conflict, especially in areas where U.S. naval forces have traditionally maintained supremacy. China's rapidly expanding UUV fleet is not just a technological experiment. It is a strategic tool aimed at challenging conventional naval power. Equipped with advanced sensors, communication systems, and potentially even payloads like torpedoes or mines, these drones could operate independently or in coordinated groups, creating a persistent underwater threat. Their deployment near key maritime choke points and in international waters underscores China's growing ambitions in projecting naval power and asserting influence across contested regions. The significance of this development cannot be overstated. Aircraft carriers, long considered the centerpiece of U.S. naval dominance, are particularly vulnerable to stealthy underwater attacks. If UUVs can infiltrate the defensive perimeter of a carrier strike group undetected, they could disable key assets, disrupt operations, or even deter future deployments. This emerging threat forces naval strategists to rethink traditional defense mechanisms and consider new technologies and tactics to protect high-value vessels from autonomous underwater threats. China has invested heavily in the development of autonomous underwater drones over the past decade, producing UUVS capable of reconnaissance, surveillance, and offensive operations. These unmanned systems range from small, agile drones designed to gather intelligence in shallow waters to larger, long-range vehicles capable of delivering torpedoes or mines in deep-sea environments. Unlike manned submarines, UUVS can operate for extended periods without risking human crews, allowing for persistent surveillance and covert missions across strategic waterways. Technological advancements have made these drones more capable than ever. Improvements in artificial intelligence enable autonomous navigation, obstacle avoidance, and coordinated swarm behavior, allowing multiple drones to operate as a single cohesive unit. Long-range propulsion systems extend operational endurance, while stealth technology, such as low-noise electric motors and radar-absorbing coatings, makes these vehicles difficult to detect. Together, these innovations allow UUVS to penetrate deep into contested waters, evade traditional anti-submarine defenses, and gather critical intelligence or execute precise strikes. The strategic implications of a growing autonomous underwater fleet are profound. In regions like the South China Sea and the broader Pacific, where the U.S. relies heavily on aircraft carriers and surface strike groups to project power, UUVS could pose a serious challenge to naval supremacy. By operating covertly and persistently, China's drones could disrupt supply lines, monitor fleet movements, or even threaten high-value assets directly. This evolution in underwater warfare highlights the shifting balance of naval power, signaling that future maritime dominance may increasingly depend on the integration of autonomous systems alongside traditional manned vessels. China's unmanned underwater vehicles are designed to operate stealthily in contested maritime regions, making them a potent tool for intelligence gathering and offensive operations. Many of these UUVS feature low observable designs, including streamlined hulls and noise-reducing propulsion systems, which allow them to evade traditional sonar and radar detection. Some models are small enough to operate in shallow coastal areas for surveillance or mine-laying missions while larger drones are capable of deep-sea operations, reaching hundreds of kilometers from their launch point and remaining submerged for extended periods. In terms of armament, certain UUVS are reported to carry lightweight torpedoes, naval mines, or payloads for electronic warfare, giving them the to disrupt or damage larger naval vessels, including aircraft carriers. Others focus on reconnaissance and electronic surveillance, using sonar arrays, cameras, and magnetic anomaly detectors to monitor naval movements without revealing their presence. Equipped with autonomous navigation and AI-assisted targeting, these drones can coordinate attacks, avoid obstacles, 
and adjust their missions in real time without requiring constant human control. The operational range and autonomy of these drones further enhance their strategic value. Some models are capable of weeks-long missions, operating independently while communicating intermittently with command centers or other drones in a coordinated swarm. This endurance allows China to maintain persistent underwater surveillance near key strategic areas, such as the South China Sea or the Western Pacific. By combining stealth, autonomy, and lethal or surveillance capabilities, China's UUV fleet poses a credible threat to high-value naval assets, challenging conventional naval defense systems, and forcing rival powers to rethink how they protect aircraft carriers and critical maritime infrastructure. U.S. aircraft carriers have long been considered the backbone of American naval power, projecting air dominance and supporting global military operations. However, the emergence of China's autonomous underwater drones introduces a new layer of vulnerability. These carriers rely on layered defenses, including escort ships, sonar detection, and anti-submarine warfare systems to protect against submarines and torpedoes. UUVS, with their low observability and ability to operate silently for extended periods, can exploit gaps in these defenses, potentially reaching the inner perimeter of carrier strike groups without detection. In hypothetical attack scenarios, UUVS could operate in coordinated swarms, overwhelming traditional anti-submarine defenses. Small drones could approach from multiple directions, laying mines or delivering precision torpedoes, while larger units conduct reconnaissance in relay targeting information. By combining stealth and autonomous coordination, these drones could force carrier groups to divert resources, limit operational freedom, or even withdraw from strategic areas. The ability to strike or disrupt without risking human operators makes UUVSA a particularly compelling threat for modern naval planners. The potential impact extends beyond immediate tactical damage. Even the perceived threat of underwater drones can alter naval strategy forcing carriers to operate further from contested zones or invest heavily in advanced detection and countermeasure systems. Persistent UUV presence could limit U.S. freedom of navigation in critical waterways, such as the South China Sea, and challenge traditional notions of maritime dominance. In essence, China's underwater drone fleet is not just a technological innovation. It represents a strategic lever that could reshape naval warfare and challenge the long-standing supremacy of aircraft carriers in modern conflicts. The emergence of China's autonomous underwater drones has prompted the United States to adapt its naval defenses and develop advanced countermeasures. Traditional anti-submarine warfare ASW, assets, such as sonar-equipped destroyers, patrol submarines, and maritime patrol aircraft, remain central to protecting carrier strike groups. However, these systems were primarily designed to detect manned submarines, making them less effective against small, stealthy, and AI-controlled UVs that can operate quietly and independently. To address this challenge, the U.S. Navy is investing in emerging technologies specifically tailored for countering underwater drones. Autonomous surface and underwater vehicles are being developed to patrol perimeters, detect intruders, and neutralize threats before they can approach high-value assets. Directed energy weapons, including ship-mounted lasers, are being explored for precision strikes against small or fast-moving UUVS, providing rapid response without the logistical constraints of traditional torpedoes. Additionally, advanced AI-assisted sonar and tracking systems are being deployed to improve detection accuracy and reduce reaction time, allowing carrier groups to respond proactively to swarms of underwater drones. Despite these efforts, defending against UUVS remains a complex challenge. Small, autonomous drones can exploit cluttered underwater environments, operate silently for extended periods, and use unpredictable paths to evade detection. Coordination among multiple countermeasure platforms is essential but difficult in dynamic maritime conditions. As a result, the U.S. must continually innovate and refine its strategies, integrating human oversight with autonomous defense systems. The evolving contest between stealthy underwater drones and advanced detection technologies underscores a broader trend in naval warfare. The growing importance of autonomous systems and rapid technological adaptation in maintaining maritime dominance. China's growing fleet of autonomous underwater drones carries profound global and strategic implications for naval power. By developing UUVS capable of operating stealthily in contested waters, 
China is challenging the traditional dominance of U.S. aircraft carriers and surface fleets. This technological shift could alter the balance of power in regions such as the South China Sea and the Western Pacific, where freedom of navigation and control over strategic sea lanes have long been central to U.S. military strategy. The development of such capabilities is likely to accelerate an underwater arms race. Other nations, particularly U.S. allies in the Indo-Pacific, may invest in similar unmanned systems or enhanced anti-submarine defenses to protect critical maritime assets. At the same time, China's drones could serve as a deterrent, allowing Beijing to project influence and challenge adversaries without deploying traditional manned submarines or surface combatants, potentially reducing the risk to its own personnel while complicating enemy planning. The rise of UUVS also reshapes the future of naval warfare. Autonomous systems with extended endurance and precision capabilities may increasingly supplement or even replace manned operations in high-risk scenarios. Navies around the world will need to integrate AI, directed energy, and advanced detection technologies into their fleets to maintain strategic parity. In essence, the proliferation of underwater drones signals a new era where autonomy, stealth, and precision play as much a role as firepower in determining maritime dominance, fundamentally altering how nations prepare for and engage in naval conflict. Ultimately, the rise of underwater drones signals a future where stealth, autonomy, and persistence will define naval engagements as much as firepower. The U.S. and allied navies must adapt quickly to maintain control of the seas, while China continues to demonstrate how innovation and technology can challenge traditional naval supremacy. This silent, invisible threat beneath the waves is a glimpse into the future of maritime warfare, where the oceans themselves become contested battlegrounds for autonomous systems.